Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Middletown High School. How many people are excited today? <laughs> Guys, is this microphone working? Because I don't know if the audience can hear me. They don't sound too excited. How excited are we for the graduation commencement ceremonies of the class of 2016? There you go. There you go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a couple of quick house announcements. Please be aware of all your exits. Please make sure that everybody's having a safe and fun time. Please do not crowd at the rails because people behind you also want to take a look at their graduates. Now, normally I get to say, please don't take a lot of flash photography. Please take as many pictures as you would like, but please be courteous to everyone else around you. Now, at this time, please help me welcome the class of 2016.
evening. I'm Lauren Durr, the House Ford Dean of Students, and I'd like to welcome you all to this auspicious moment. I can honestly say tonight marks the hard work and dedication of the young men and women you see sitting before you down here on the stands. It's been an honor and a privilege watching them come in as eager freshmen and leaving as wise adults. On behalf of the Middletown High School Administration, we wish you all the best in your future endeavors. And now, I'd like to welcome the senior chorus members and the NJROTC for the Star Sangle Banner. Thank you once again, chorus members and the members of the NJROTC. Now I'd like to welcome to the podium our two instructional leaders here at the high school, um, Mr. Alfred Romano, the instructional leader for STEM, and Ms. Magdalene Radovich, the instructional leader for humanities. It's my privilege this evening to introduce you to and to welcome our esteemed members of the Board of Education of Middletown School District, our President, Mr. Andrew Warren, our Vice President, Mr. John Perino, Board Members Paula Blumino, Edwin Estrada, Lou Pierre, Rose Tobiasen, and Pastor John Williams. Good evening and congratulations, class of 2016. At this time, I'd like to welcome our district-level administration, Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Kenneth Eastwood. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent for Instruction, Mr. Richard Del Moro. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent for Administration, 
Mr. Gregory Kern. <laughs> Superintendent of Buildings and Grounds, Mr. Thomas Scott. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent of Buildings and Grounds, Mr. Pete Wilcox. <laughs> Director of Technology, Mr. Michael Tuttle. <laughs> Director of Athletics, Mr. David Coates. Coordinator of ENL and Bilingual Programs, Mrs. Linda Brott. And Coordinator of Literacy, Mrs. Elizabeth Bowler. And finally, I would like to introduce to you and welcome my colleagues on the high school administration, Mr. Alfred Romano, our STEM leader, my partner, Ms. Terry Lynn Cohn, Instructional Leader for Special Education Secondary, Dr. Hans Siebold, Dean of House One, Dr. Adam Chigaris, Dean of House Two, Mr. Dwayne Whitaker, Dean of House Three, and Mrs. Lauren Durr, Dean of House Four. I would now, now like to welcome to the podium board member Edward Estrada for the introduction of the class of 1966. Que pasa, Middletown? You guys were a little quiet, so we had to wake you up. Uh, graduates, to your left, and for those of you sitting in the stands to your right, we have some very special people seated in the inside of the track. A tradition at each Middletown High School graduation is the honoring of the 50th anniversary of a past MHS graduating class. Earlier this year at Twin Tower, earlier this afternoon at Twin Towers Middle School, where they enjoyed their four years of high school, the Board of Education and School District Administration honored the men and women of the class of 1966. In taking a look at what was happening back when these fine folks graduated, it occurred to me that although prices are higher and technologies more advanced, the anxiety and basic circumstances are not that much different between the graduates of 1966 and the graduating class of 2016. If I asked you to close your eyes and I said to you that the world today includes controversies regarding race in America, that the world today includes a government few people trust, that the world today includes, includes the anxieties of war, poverty, income inequality, and a promise and optimism for a better tomorrow, do you think I'd be talking about 1966 or 2016? What was the world like 50 years ago for the 1966 MIDI graduates? Just like their 2016 counterparts, the 1966 senior year began in November of 1965 when the Middies football team held on to the Erie Bell with a 26-6 win over Port Jervis. <laughs> Thought you'd like that. The U.S. population was a little more than 196 million today. It's over 320 million. Lyndon Baines Johnson was beginning his third year as the 36th president of the U.S. Life expectancy in 1966 was 70. Today it's 79. A house would set you back a little over $21,000, today $290,000. The average household income was $6,900, today it's $53,000. A new car would cost you about $2,650, anywhere today between $17,000 and $34,000. A gallon of gas was $0.32, cents, a dozen eggs $0.60, cents, and a gallon of milk $0.99. Cents. The class of 66 danced and sang to the tunes of the Righteous Brothers, the Monkees, the Mamas and the Papas, the Beatles, Petula Clark, and the Beach Boys, just to name a few. The number one single that year was actually a military theme song called The Ballad of the Green Berets. The top TV shows were Bonanza, The Lucy Show, Green Acres, and The Andy Griffith Show, while the top movies were The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, Spin Out, Born Free, and yes, Batman the Movie. 50 years later, we still have Batman the Movie. <laughs> 1966 saw the continued troop buildup in the Vietnam War to over a quarter of a million troops. 
African Americans on the heels of the civil rights legislation of 1964 experienced a lot of firsts in 1966, including the first African American to serve in a U.S. cabinet position, the first African American elected to the U.S. Senate since Reconstruction, and in March of that year, Texas Western University fielded an all-black starting five basketball team, the first in history. They went on to upset Kentucky for the college basketball national championship. Women had several advances in 66, with Bobby Gibb becoming the first woman to run the Boston Marathon. And in June of that year, the National Organization of Women was founded in Washington, D.C. Unfortunately, just like in 2016, 1966 also included a mass shooting. This one at the University of Texas at Austin, when Charles Whitman gunned down 13 innocent people from the clock tower at the UT campus. In 1966, the NHL established the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Minnesota North Stars, and in May of that year, the Montreal Canadiens won the Stanley Cup. In baseball, Frank Robinson was traded from Cincinnati to Baltimore. He ended up getting the Triple Crown that year, leading the Orioles to the World Championship over the LA Dodgers in October. Later that month, the American Football League and the National Football League merged into the present-day National Football League. In December, the year ended with the death of Walt Disney, though somebody reminded me that he's frozen, so we're not sure if he's really dead or not, during the making of The Jungle Book, How the Grinch Stole Christmas aired on TV, and African Americans began celebrating Kwanzaa for the very first time. We thank the class of 1966. Some of them have come as far away as California. That was Lillian Rosen and Midge Stevens, so welcome back home to Middletown from California. We want to thank you guys for leaving your footprint on our school community and more importantly for continuing to leave a positive footprint in our nation. We hope the class of 2016 comes back in the year 2066 with just as many accomplishments to celebrate their 50th reunion. And to both the 66 and 2016 graduates, I want you to remember, once a MIDI, always a MIDI. God bless. At this time, I'd like to welcome board member Pastor Williams for the presentation of the Martin DeLugatz Award. Good evening, everybody. It's my profound privilege and honor to present on this evening the Martin A. DeLugatz Award. We, the Board of Education of the Enlarged City School District of Middletown, uh, find it necessary and very important to, uh, to honor those in our community who have been a special help to this district and to many of our children in this district. This particular award is special because it directly affects children in our community who have been affected with hunger, been affected with uh, different things that have caused adversity in their lives. We are honored because we want to honor this, this afternoon, this evening, we want to honor uh, Glennis Foglia. Glennis Foglia operates the No Kid, no Kid Hungry Weekend Backpack Program. This program is very significant as, in, as it is uh, supplying food for uh, many of our children in the elementary schools who sometimes go home and don't have the opportunity to have full meals that many of us have. Uh, this, uh, this program is sponsored by the Middletown's Lion Club. The Weekend Backpack Program has been recognized. It's a necessary program to families of our local school children that have little or no food available over the weekend, completing now its fifth year uh, this program is currently serving uh, many families within our district. This, this, this program receives funding uh, from many different areas, but we're so excited today because we, when we begin to look at the numbers, and you will see the pictures that hopefully are back there on the screen as I'm speaking because I can't see it, uh, but you will see the numbers of what they started with in 2011. And you excuse me while I grab my, grab my paper. There we go. In 2011, this program started feeding our children with 376 backpacks. Now in the year 2015 and 2016, 
They served with 1,911 backpacks, totaling since two, that's right, clap your hands. That's right. Now, totaling from 2011 to now 2016, they have given out a total of 6,646 backpacks. Come on, clap your hands. So it is my profound privilege, uh, profound privilege of the Board of Education to award the Martin A. Dulagats Award. It's presented to Glennis Foglia in appreciation for your volunteer efforts on behalf of the community and the students of the Enlarged City School District of Middletown, dated June 24th, 2016. Will Glennis please come forward? Where is she? There she is. At this time, I'd like to welcome board member John Perino for the recognition of service. This is for students who will be entering the military upon graduation. So graduates, when you hear your name, please stand when called. Thank you so very much. In January 1961, at his inaugural, President John F. Kennedy, arguably one of the finest statesmen of the 20th century, said, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. The people being introduced tonight, the groups have done this and more. I would like all members who have served or who are serving in the armed forces to so please stand and be recognized in the audience. Please stand up, you deserve it. Next, I would, I would ask all members of the class of 2016, young men and women, to please stand up, those who are going in the military. Please stand, be recognized. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna call the names of these people, and please, Members of the class, forgive me if I mangle some of the names. It's not intentional, believe me. Karina Victoria Alonso, stand up again, please. Stand up. Myrna Beatrice Arjuro Ramirez. Christian Tyler Bailey. Thank you. Kareem Rashan Bates, Wanda Harriet Cheeks, Genesis Adaris Gutierrez, Oscar Hernandez, Jacob Marquise Jones, Zenobia L. Jones, Kiara Lawrence, Jacques Allen Martel, Jatai Love McZorin, and Mary Mortimer, 
and Elo Pardia Mineri, Angel Reyes, Daniel Steven Rivera, Ashley Rodriguez, Raymond Paul Shigari, Brian Vargas Rivera. Because of the work that you will do, in the words of Lincoln, this country will continue to exist. And we want to thank you for your proposed service. Buena suerte. Good luck. Vayan con Dios. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to welcome one of two presentations to the senior class. First, Mariella Pichardo. Welcome Dr. Eastwood and the district administration, the members of the Board of Education, Mrs. Sorrentino and the high school administration, faculty, staff, family, friends, and of course, our 2016 Middletown High School graduates. <laughs> Nearly four years ago, we descended from our rickety school buses and family cars convinced that the last day we had to perform this routine would be our greatest. Nearly every day after that, we repeated one line, I can't wait to graduate. Look around, that day is here at last. Can you remember your first day of school? Do you remember what you wore? Did you stay up the night before in anticipation, hoping that everything would go well? Does this matter now? <laughs> What you wore does not matter so much as the sentiment that you put into the act of preparing for your first arrival at school. Whether that feeling was absolute excitement or utter dread, you came into this school with the intent to complete a race with years as laps, and at last the finish line sits on the horizon. Recall what you once felt. How does it feel now? Please remember this feeling as you embark on the independent journey that lies before you. You knew this day was coming, but it never felt as real as it does today. Did you imagine tasting success so sweet? You were capable of undergoing a four-year battle in which you combated life within the classroom and outside of it. Today is the last lap in your race, but this is only the beginning. I can sum up my high school experience as having had concrete steps of knowledge placed beneath me. However, it is not until now that I've come to realize that I made them myself. We have all created these steps ourselves. As we sat in the classrooms of Middletown High School, small pieces of knowledge were slipped beneath the soles of our shoes by teachers and friends that elevated us in terms of consciousness, intelligence, and potential. Rather than kicking these steps aside, we held them close and used all that we'd learned through class lectures and discussions to better our understanding of the world around us. If you find yourself shaking your head in disagreement now or later on, I just have a single request that I must ask of you. Think about it. How much do you know now that you did not know then? Tonight, once we arrive home, we will hang up our graduation caps and slip off our white and blue gowns. Though this act signify, signifies stripping ourselves of our academic past, this will also be our silent goodbye to the home that we shared in the times that we had while enrolled as students at Middletown High School. The magic from your gown will vanish, becoming just another memory of your high school days. However, please remember that the remnants of these days will remain within you. At times, they may seem hidden, but they will show themselves in moments when they can be of service. As you head off to college, work, or wherever life takes you, you will have moments that take you back to the doors of Middletown High School. 
It may be when you receive 100% on your first test and you're taken back to geometry marveling at the test you passed, but we're sure you'd fail. It may be when you renew your driver's license and are transported back to the MHS cafeteria when you excitedly blurted out to all that would listen that you passed your driver's test on your first try. It may be when you visit ShopRite and see meats and cheeses and you think of the Global 10 class you had with Mr. Donahue. <laughs> I don't know when this will be of service, but it'll be nice to remember. However you come back, just remember that this was once your stomping ground. Each place that you journey following your time here will become yours as well because it was here that you gained all the knowledge necessary to take on the world. You have everything within your power to make this world yours. Never stop pushing forward, never stop fighting. Today we are bound in time by the title of Middletown High School's Class of 2016. I wish you well, congratulations, and good luck. And now I'd like to invite Spencer Hogan to the podium. Good evening and thank you, Dr. Eastwood and the district administration, members of the Board of Education and the high school administration, faculty, families, friends, and students. I'm going to skip the part where the speaker enlightens the graduates with advice and begin the way that most speeches end. Congratulations to the class of 2016. I am here on behalf of the graduates to present our class to the families and guests at Fowler Field this evening. We are a group that has accomplished great feats while in high school. This is a class of groundbreakers. We have students representing our school in state and national competitions in programs across all disciplines. Some of our graduates have amassed more college credit in high school than they often would in their first year of college. Many teachers we respect and love dearly have called our class a particularly impactful one, one which may not be rivaled in scholastic success. A group of us even attended and ranked highly at the National Academic Championship just a few weeks ago. This class has fueled our arts and music programs for the past four years, with our choral program once again bringing home trophies from a national competition, and our marching band attending the state championships for the first time in almost 30 years. <laughs> On top of all of this, no one can forget our athletic success, including the many section championships, records, and milestones. Of course, I would be remiss if I did not mention arguably the most successful softball and basketball teams in our high school's history. My fellow graduates have done far more than was expected of us, and we have made our community proud. The phrase, I can't wait to get out of Middletown, comes up often in high school. But I'll tell you, many of the people who said that will be sitting in this crowd as proud parents later in life. The point is, the members of the class of 2016 will go out into the world and explore. They will be successful, but at some point, they will come back to the place that they call home. The graduates that sit along both sides of this stage have a lot going for them as they move forward. And as we grow, we will make great contributions to our community. I am proud to be among such a high achieving graduating class. Just as importantly, I'm grateful for my parents and family who have guided me along this path. And I'm appreciative of the teachers who shaped my character as early as kindergarten and first grade through today as graduating seniors. I know that my fellow graduates feel the same. From all of us, we thank all of those who have helped us reach this point. Each person in a blue and white cap or gown has a story, 
and with the sheer number of us, it is curious to think that we have only touched the surface of our classmates' lives. Among us are graduates coming from unlikely places, with some being the first in their families to receive a high school diploma. Others come from a long line of Middletown High School graduates. Many found the past four years to be a breeze and are heartily looking forward to continuing their education at colleges and universities across the country. Some are relieved that they have made it this far through all of the thematic essays and the long, long math tests and are concerned about what happens next. Well, that excludes Ali. He breezed through the math tests. <laughs> Others are celebrating the fact that they may never have to sit in a classroom for a grade again. Some are confident that they have a plan, while others are going to figure it out along the way. Of course, it is up to my fellow graduates what they do after high school, but I can assure the community there will be greatness coming from this class. We will accomplish more feats than I could list tonight, and many of us have more aspirations than we can count. After all, you are witnessing a class of individuality, strong work ethic, and a desire to do well. So, as you listen to each of the graduates' names being called this evening, catalog them in the back of your mind. It will not be the last time you hear about us, I promise. Thank you. I would like to thank our two seniors for those wonderful addresses. Now, I'd like to welcome to the podium Ms. Carrie Luba and Ms. Jenny Lynn Natal, our senior class advisors. Good evening, we'd like to present the senior class gift. This year, the class of 2016 has chosen to leave their mark with banners which commemorate not only their future plans, but serve as a tribute to where they've come from. Middletown's best will line the parking lot proudly displaying their achievements. In addition, the class of 2016 has contributed to the Midi Pride Fund to ensure that all seniors are able to enjoy the fun celebrations of senior year. Thank you to the class of 2016 and congratulations. I would now like to welcome our senior chorus members for a musical presentation entitled The Days of Summer, arranged by our very own Shalise Fitzgerald.
Let's have another round of applause for that nice musical presentation. I'd now like to welcome our superintendent of schools, Dr. Kenneth Eastwood, for his remarks to the class of 2016. Good evening, parents, guests, Board of Education members, faculty and staff, and of course, honored, and I will say, very distinguished graduates. During my first employment interview a number of years ago, I won't tell how far back it was, but it was a long time ago for me, I was asked during the interview if I had ever failed at anything. Startled by the question because I, I really didn't think that uh, they were going to ask a question like that. I leaned back in my chair and I thought what was seemed for almost forever to try to come up with an answer. And then as I began to answer the question, I began to feel the perspiration roll down my back because in that short period of time I realized how many times I had actually failed over the course of time. But I also explained to the screening committee how honestly I could say that I have learned from each and every one of those failures. I accomplished things, learned lessons, and kept moving on. I come to understand and learn that all of us fail during our lifetime, and it is how we respond to that failure that determines who and what we become in life. In a graduation speech at Southern University, businessman and philanthropist Mayor Mitchell talked about his hero, Winston Churchill, and what he saw as the key to success. Mitchell believed that Winston Churchill, who was Prime Minister of England during World War II, gave many great speeches in his history. Mitchell believed that Churchill's times required him to inspire humanity to fight back against evil, often in the face of impossible tasks. In many cases, Churchill was literally selecting the words that would be needed to shape the course of history. Whether democracy and the free world would survive World War II often hinged on his ability to encourage and motivate. Mitchell's favorite Churchill speech was a message to a group of young people very much like yourselves as World War II raged and Europe's future hung in balance. Churchill's words were simple and eloquent. Never give in. Never, never, never in anything great or small, large or petty, never give in. Never yield to force. Never yield to the apparently overwhelming might of the enemy. Never give in. History records that Winston Churchill never gave in. He had done so, if he had done so, the very fate of the world would have been terribly different for us. And chances are, had Churchill given in, 
you would not be sitting here today pursuing your hopes and dreams in a free and democratic society. In 1946, another great man who was a father and famous basketball coach was born about an hour from here in New York City. His name, James Anthony Valvano. He graduated from Seaford High School and then attend, attended Rutgers University where he became a basketball legend. Following college, Jimmy went to coach basketball at John Hopkins, Bucknell, and Iona before ending up at North Carolina, North Carolina State, where he had led teams to championships in both the NIT and NCAA tournaments. When Jimmy was 17, he took out a simple white index card and wrote down all of his professional aspirations. He would play basketball in high school and college, become an assistant basketball coach, then a head coach, achieve a victory in Madison Square Garden, and finally cut down the nets after winning a national championship. This simple card, coupled with a strong belief that he could control his fate, would guide the next 10 years of his life. At the age of 36, Jim would take out his tattered index card and cross out every single dream. He had indeed mastered his destiny. Along the way, he had adopted a personal philosophy for living that enabled an ordinary man to accomplish extraordinary things. Jim believed that enthusiasm for life, dreaming big, and working hard were the elements that allowed him to be successful. There is no doubt that Jim's tenacity, passion, and vision played key roles in his rise to the top. But it wasn't until Jim Valvano, when he was diagnosed with an incurable cancer, that he faced his most difficult goal, that of establishing a perpetual foundation that would help to fight and cure cancer. Just three months before his death in 1993, at the age of 48, terribly sick and hardly able to stand or move, with the help of his two best friends, ESPN commentator Dick Vitale and Duke basketball coach Mike Krzyzewski, Jim Valvano forced himself to attend and speak at the 1993 ESPY Awards, where he received the Arthur Ashe Award for Courage. During his very moving and memorable speech, Jimmy pleaded with the audience, don't give up, don't ever give up. Whether it's a world leader like Winston Churchill, a successful college coach like Jimmy Valvano, or individuals like Rudy Rulinger, the boy who never gave up to play college football at Notre Dame, Martin Luther King, or the great Muhammad Ali, the message for success and accomplishment is the same. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. In closing, I'd like to challenge you, each of you graduates, to follow in Coach Valvano's footsteps and create your own index card of professional aspirations. And then with Jimmy, the Jimmy V tenacity and passion and vision, begin to cross out each of the aspirations you accomplish in your lifetime. Wherever your dreams may lead, may you find success and happiness and the courage never to give up. Congratulations, graduates, and forever Midi Pride. Oh, yes. And now the important parts of things. Mr. Del Moro, can you come up to the microphone? Have the seniors here before us met all of the obligations and requirements required by the Board of Regents of the State of New York to graduate? from the enlarged city school district of Middletown. Each and every one of the 418 graduates seated here this evening have indeed and absolutely done that accomplishment. Graduates, prepare to come up and receive your diplomas.
Honor graduate, Rose Genesis Alisea Oliveras. Honor graduate, Martin Aguilar Solano. Honor graduate, Patrick Everett Angeremi. Honor graduate, Madison Schuyler Bruning. Honor graduate, Joseph Bernard Brunning. Honor graduate, Amy Yvette Gonzalez. Honor graduate, Ashley Emeris Gonzalez. Honor graduate, Ali Hassan. Honor graduate, Spencer William Hogan. Honor graduate, Tyler Pavi Chapai Jechem Law. Honor graduate, Melissa Aquila Jones. Honor graduate, Noah Daniel Levin. Honor graduate, Alexis Maya Newman. Honor graduate, Emma Paradis. Honor graduate, Mariella Pichardo. Honor graduate, Samantha Sanders. Honor graduate, Karen Santa Maria. Honor graduate, Katharina Rain Vargas. Honor graduate, Serena Angel Wallace. Honor graduate, Kiana Michelle Zollner. Rosa Maria Acevedo Galacia. Veronica Acevedo Ramos. Allison Lena Marie Adams. <laughs> Sheila Ajay Mensa. <laughs> Olivia Paige Aguilar. <laughs> Julia Marie Alexander. <laughs> Talia Nicole Ali. Dominique Shan Allen. Karina Victoria Alonzo. Joanna Adino. Chaleka Andrew. Christy Angel. <laughs> Melissa Millette Antonio Ocampo. <laughs> Myrna Araujo. <laughs> Brianna Denise Archie DeVoe. Chloe Atkinson. Okay. 
Vanessa Babcock. Samantha Balthazar Nava. Tanasia Renee Bell. Jazare Benjamin. Maya Renee Bennett. Talaya Bills. Taylor Bachman. Luz Estrella Boria. Jeanette Diane Ivy Pearl PJ Borum. Rebecca Teresa Breck. <laughs> Katrina Danielle Brown. <laughs> Marissa Alexis Brown. Ebony Monet Burtwell Brown. Yeah. Renee Buteau. Yeah. Selena Brittany Calleja. Yeah. Yeah. Eileen Campos. Marlene Castro Marin. <laughs> Alessandra Danielle Cazares. <laughs> Jasmine Aaliyah Chapman Robinson. <laughs> Celeste Chavez. Wanda Harriet Carol Marcita Cheeks. Jacqueline Sid. Nicole Siafi. Adrian Cole. Chelsea Cologne de Sierre. Carissa Alicia Cora. Abigail Marie Cordero. Geralise Tanisha Cortez Soto. Samantha Nicole Cruz. Gabriela Marie Cuevas Mendez. Janelle Simone Daly. Jacqueline De Jesus. Ashley Marie De La Cruz. <laughs> Brianna Lisette Delgado. <laughs> Mary, 
Lisette Anna Deloach. Ashley Marie De Silva. Sabrina De Sources. Anaya Chanel Dickens. Anaya Renee Edwards. Alondra Farias. Cameron Farrell. Kaylee Elizabeth Feely. Janelle Fernandez. Savannah Rose Fields. Nora Rose Fitzgerald. Shalise Fitzgerald. Shandrina Hazel Fleet. Shanice Annette Flood. Destiny Yasmin Ford. Ivory Taylor for me. Christina Galarza. Alondra Garcia Olivares. Daniela Garcia Munoz. Emily Garcia. Erica Garcia. Hannah Nicole Garcia. Crystal Alexis Garnier. Erica Yvonne Gayton Lopez. Kendall Maria Gerhorn. Ashley Marie Gillis Lee. Daisy Godinez. Emily Ann Gonzalez. Chelsea Melina Gorris. Zuri Grande. Tyra Crystal. Burns. On, Diana. Diana Garba Aon. Yes, Diana. Yes, Diana. Genesis Gutierrez. <laughs> Julia. Gutierrez. Wait, 
Deja Harrigan. Perla Heredia Reyes. Angelica Ashlyn Howard. Nadia Hippolyte. Andrea Ingracia. Alondra Jacinto. Brianna Michelle Jenkins. Jasmine Danae Johnson. Tanaya Shakira Johnson. Shamirica Jones. Zenobia L. Jones. Danielle Nicole Joyner. Renisa Alexandria Andrea Katwaru. Jillian Ray Kelly. Taylor Ann Kropchek. Bianca Marie LaFontaine. Aylin Leal Avery Rose Lowly Marilee Lopez Castro Precious Jaylene Lopez Ariana T. Luciano. Brianna Dominique Maldonado. Samantha Sue Ann Mann. Cheyenne Mapes. Allison M. Marcano. Monica Renee Marrero. Lauren D. Martinez. Sarah Matos. Aliyah Mayers. Leandra McDonald.
Octavia Jade Vivette McFarlane. Jocelyn Michelle Mejia Rojas. Elizabeth Maribel Mena. Alexis Nicole Mendez. Maria Amor Mendoza. Natalie Merville. Jasmine Tiana Morales. Emily Jean Moriarty. Imani Mortimer. Ashley Nicole Murphy. Julianne Nascimento. Lisbeth Navarro. Samantha Chanel Newton. Veronica Mignon Nicholas. Maya Naomi Nichols. Jaylene Nieto Zamora. Rebecca Nieto Zamora. Beatrice Annette Ortiz. Patricia Ortiz. Lauren Emily Osorio. Rosa Elvia Pastor Acevedo. Olivia Lindsay Perez. Caitlin M. Perez. Priscilla E. Perez. Brandy L. Pittengill. Jasmine Ziamaro Pierre Louis. Shayna Tova Plotkin. Sophia J. Powerful. Maya Ann Ramsey. Nasha Elise Rivera. Letitia Monet Robb. Arielli Vanessa Rodriguez.
Ashley Rodriguez. Jennifer Rodriguez. Lisbeth Rodriguez Dominguez. Emily Rose Rourke. Lillian Samuel. Jewel Elizabeth Sanchez. Amber Sanchez. Ashley Sanchez. Kyla Savino. Perry Alyssa Siegel. Courtney Seymour Watson. Carly Rose Shoemaker. Matenje Sirleaf Blama. <laughs> Abigail Yakira Smith. <laughs> Crystal Ann Smith. <laughs> Tony Sophia Smith. Jasmine Alexandra Stewart. Emily Ann Schulbach. Savannah Lee Talavera. Kimberly Marie Tello. Mio Tennant. Gianna Catherine Noel Terranova. Shannon Colleen Thomas. Candace Laurel Thompson. Talia Miracle Tomlinson. Nileve Torres. Emma Trosterid. <laughs> Tiffany Kamaya Vadi. <laughs> Jenna Lee Valerio. Sierra Vasconez. Jasmine Kayla Vera. Jessica Vicente Castillo. Karen Vidal Coria. Selena Villa. Marlene Guadalupe Villar Flores. 
Tony Amber Inga Walcott. Raquel Tierra Washington. Jerissa Raquel White. Shayla Dominique White. Shanice Davia Williams. Brianna Lynn Wilson. Evelyn Andrea Yunga Pauta. Leticia Zamora Mendez. Gina Alicia Zapata. Jennifer Zapata. Devon Abraham. Diego Aguilar. Leonardo Aguilar Flores. Marco Aguilar Hernandez. Hold on, Ben. Miguel Aguilar. Benjamin Akoko. Raymond Matthew Alasea. Alhenis Arturo Aquino. Giovanni Alfonso Arias Diaz. Jocely Arias Calderon. Devin Anthony Ariola. Gregory Philip Atchison. Timothy Avant. Christian Tyler Bailey. Albert Barragan De Leon. Kareem Bates. Richard Marlin Bassett. Malik Javon Black. Emmanuel Kofi Unkansa Boteng. Atish Ramon Brown. Cameron D. Brown. Kyle Anthony Brown. Terrell Burgess.
Raymond Burgos Batista. Jorge Campos Rodriguez. Kelvin Lionel Caraballo. Carlos Castillo Batista. Shay Thomas Chenoweth. Rashawn Tyreek Clark. Houston Cecil Coppin the third. Steven Cosme. Tyru Fahim Crutchfield the second. Jalen Tristan Cruz. Ruben Cruz. Nicholas Anthony Colmone. Eric Evan De Jesus. Rafael Del Toro Torres. Alexander James Depew. Dante DeVoe the second. Michael Anthony Diaz the second. Aaron Solomon Dranoff. Nicholas Emmanuel. Jose Enright. Kenneth Fabian. Tayshawn Farrow. Joseph Leonard Ferrara. Brandon Scott Flores. Carlos Flores. Humberto Garcia Jr. Austin Gear. Justin Giordano. Nicholas Giordano. Alejandro Ruben Godinez. Nicholas Gomez Gonzalez. Jason Giovanni Gonzalez. Marco Antonio Gonzalez. William Arnaldo Gonzalez.
Antonio Jesus Gonzalez Powell. Daniel Grant. Luciano Eduardo Greco. Anthony Grasso. Yo, I'm over now. No, am I not? Joseph William Heller. Thomas Robert Hendricks. Luis Eduardo Heredia. Oscar Hernandez. Thomas Ezekiel Hernandez. Donovan Darrell Hill. Tristan J. Himalowin. Menelik Hines. Marcus Horton. What? Joseph Dante Humphrey. Yeah. Xavier Kalel Hunter. Kane Robert Huslinger. Orlando G. Arizari. Justin James. Lamaj Jamal Johnson. Tayshawn Johnson. Jacob Marquise Jones. Malik Brandon Jones. Paul John Jones. Rachi Jordan. Brian Michael Young. Cordell Shane Kennedy. Forrest Daniel Knapp. Yvonne 
Ivan Leo Menendez. Shaquille Shamar Lewis. Christian K. Lopez. Lisandro Amore Lopez. Enoch Lowe. Ishmael Luciano. Robert Luciano. Ryan Patrick Lynch. Devon Mann. Andre F. Marin. Jesus Marin. Kevin Felipe Marte. Thank you. Jack Allen Martel. Mark Anthony Martel. Andy Martinez. Christian S. Martinez. Raul Francisco Martinez Jr. Christopher M. Madison. Abraham Mazarigos. Brendan R. McMahon. Evan A. McNeil. Jitai Love McZorn. Jordan W. Medina. John C. Mendez. Ephraim Ricardo Gutierrez. Kenneth L. Middleton. Jarrett T. Miller. Jairo P. Minga Lozano. Sebastian Mario Montilla. Nathaniel L. Montoya. Owen S. Moore. Andy 
Andy B. Morales Antonio. Elizar Jose G. Morales Castineda. Jason Napoleon. Alex Fernandez Nadu. Richard Navarez Guevara. Alexander C. Apong. Kenny Ordonez. Nelson Antonio Ordonez. Benjamin Christian Ortega. Dylan Antonio Ortiz. Angelo A. Padilla. Dennis Paul. Michael Peel. Christian Pena. Eduardo Perez. Giovanni Perez. William Perkins. Raekwon Perry. Christopher James Phillips. Brandon Pierre. Ishmael Pierre. Michael Prelu. Salvatore Vincenzo Pupo. Elijah Raj Paul. Gabriel Ramos Rodriguez. Saul Ramos. Carlos Rentas. Angel Reyes. Luis G. Reyes Lopez. Ian Carl Ritter.
Daniel Steven Rivera. Eduardo Rivera. Jeffrey Rivera. Matthew Brian Rivera. Malik Amir Roberts. Tyreek Jahir Roberts. Cody Rocher. Luis Rojas. Steven Anthony Rosario. Justin Alexander Ruiz. Christian James Rumsey. Jose Eduardo Saavedra. Romel Sankey. John Joseph Schneider. Raymond P. Shargani. Navjot Singh. Shane Smith. Kevin Alejandro Soria Bermudez. Stay there. Stay there. Go ahead. Luke Gregory St. John. Joshua Tavares. Austin Patrick Tehan. Alexander Tejada. Alessio Thorpe Lanos. Gustavo Teltepa. Joseph Tripoli the third. Elijah Truesdale Nelson. Guillermo Trujillo. Elias Valdez. Christian Alexander Valentin. Samuel Martin Van Dunk. Brian Vargas Rivera. Also going into the military, Michael Taylor Vasquez. Carlos Vasquez.
Alexander Javier Velasquez. Nathaniel Velasquez. Ramundo Woodrow Vickers. Joshua Ishmael Washington. William Washington. Nicholas William Wire. Xavier Derek Wheeler. Philip White. Malik Jason Williams. Rashid Aaron Williams. Brandon Alexander Wilson. You. The greatest, brother. The greatest. You, Elijah Winter. Before we close for this evening, I'd like to acknowledge our MHS String Orchestra and Brass Ensemble who will be playing the recessional hymn um, as they, the graduates proceed out. And I'd also like to invite up our Assistant Superintendent for Instruction, Mr. Richard Del Moro, for the moving of the tassel. Moving of the tassel. Oh, I'm sorry, okay. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time to officially graduate. Please move your tassels from the right to the left. You are graduates of Middletown High School 2016. Enjoy.